Hello everyone and welcome back to Neptune's Child Tarot. My name is Monique and this is my second tarot channel here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for your continued love and support here on the channel. For those of you that would like to donate, I do have my PayPal, my Cash App, my Amazon wishlist, and there is also, what is it called, Super Thanks um, that is available right underneath the video. It's a little heart with a dollar sign in it so you can also make donations if you feel called to directly through um, YouTube. Those of you that would like to book a private reading, you can find my email down below in the description box. Just send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking readings as well as other services with me. So today's pick a card reading, uh, we are doing what is hidden from you, what you don't see coming. Okay, so it could really be about any area of your life, love, career, money, um, you know, your spiritual growth. Um, it may be something from past. We're just going to kind of leave it open for whatever spirit kind of brings through. Um, now, do keep in mind that this is a general reading. Um, I also noticed that sometimes um, certain piles continue on with messages that might be receive through other ones. So if you feel drawn to more than one pile for today's reading, that is perfectly okay. Go with whatever your intuition is telling you. Um, but we do have three crystals for you guys to choose from. Um, pile number one is going to be this firework obsidian. Pile two in the center is going to be a smoky citrine. And then pile number three is a mookite jasper. I am going to be adding in one of these cards to help you. For those of you that need that extra help, um, with choosing, we will also get a close-up look at your crystals for today as well. So let's get into it. What is hidden from you? What you don't see coming? Um, and I also wanted to thank thank, uh, thank you so much for sending this deck in. And this is actually sent in from my Amazon wish list from Daniela. So Daniela, thank you so much for sending this beautiful deck in for us to use for our uh, pick a card reading. Okay, <clears throat> so let's see. What is hidden from you? Let's pull something for pile number one. What is hidden from you, pile one? What don't you see coming? What is hidden from pile number one? What don't you see coming, pile one? Oh. Okay, so <laughs> she, I need to cover this up a little bit. I didn't even realize that this was in here. Okay. All right, so we have... Uh, I should probably use something a little bigger than that. Mm. Okay, so we have a lady here to be careful with that one. Okay, <laughs> so pile number two, what is hidden from you? What you don't see coming? What is hidden from pile number two? What is hidden from pile number two? What don't you see coming? Pile two. We have some dice here. Pile three, what is hidden from you? What don't you see coming? Okay, so we have a man here. Okay, all right, let's get a closer look. Pile one, I'm gonna have to be careful with yours, but I'm gonna have to, let's look at this. How do I do this? Okay, let's do it this way. All right, pile one, this is going to be yours here. Card number 29, and then we have the Firework Obsidian. Okay. That is for pile number one. Pile two, we have card number 39 with these dice here and the Smoky Citrine. That is for pile two and pile number three. We have card number 28 
and that is with this Mookite Jasper. All right, so those are the choices. Like I said, if you do feel drawn to more than one of the piles, that is perfectly okay for today's reading. What is hidden from you, what you don't see coming. Hi, Pal One. So those of you that resonated with this lady card, number 29, and also the uh, firework uh, obsidian, this is going to be a reading. So we are going to look today at what is hidden from you, what you don't see coming. So this lady card here, this could represent you or this could represent um, a female that you could potentially be dealing with. Um, I do notice that this down here, the card says the Ace of uh, Spades, which to me, this is could be Ace of Swords energy. So this might even be some type of communication coming in from a female. Um, there could be some type of clarity. We'll just kind of see what the reading, what comes through with the reading um, as far as what this is or what this has to do with. Um, so let's start with the tarot and we'll see. Let's get some more information. What is hidden from you? There may also be, if this is just having to do with you, um, this could be something that your intuition is bringing to light here for you. Um, and this could be some wisdom or knowledge that is gained actually through self-reflection. It could be maybe some type of realization um, or idea or something that is being illuminated here. So it could be surrounding some type of a choice or a decision here. What is hidden from you? What you don't see coming? Pile number one. What is hidden from you, pile one? What don't you see coming? We have the Ace of Cups. Okay. Let's see. What else? What is hidden from you? Look at that. Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Okay. This may have to do with a love interest, okay, new love, especially for those of you that are single. Um, this could be an opportunity for love. For those of you where this doesn't really have to do with love, this can be an, a new passion that just kind of sparks your interest or something um, that is coming you through a download from spirit as something new, a new beginning here. Let's see what else. What is hidden from you? What you don't see coming? We have Renewal here, which is the Judgment card. What don't you see coming? What is hidden from you? We also have the Initiation. This is the Hanged Man. Okay, so there's some type of change of perspective here. We have something that's coming to an end here. Um, you're releasing something. What is hidden from you? What don't you see coming? We have the moon child, which is the moon. Okay, so definitely is something that's hidden here with the moon energy, something that is concealed. It could already be something for some of you that is kind of, mm, I feel like, something that may even be within your subconscious okay something that's already there and with the ace of swords energy here i feel like this is something that um you're going to receive clarity on okay um the moon can also talk about confusion um fears anxiety there could be something like i said subconscious here the moon can also talk about our intuition so it could be something that your intuition is trying to bring to your attention here. 
Let's see what else, what is hidden from you, what you don't see coming. Hmm. We have the nine of cups. Okay. So this is something that is bringing in some type of wish fulfillment for you. Something that you've maybe even subconsciously have been wishing for, thinking about. Um, let's see, what is hidden from you? What don't you see coming? For some of you, it's clarity. Um, maybe over something that's going to make you feel more fulfilled. What is hidden? Some type of wish for the some of you, like I said, this could be a new opportunity and love that's going to be coming towards you. Um, something that is your wish fulfillment. She looks like she's kind of looking out the window, like she's waiting for something or expecting something. Maybe waiting to hear something. We have the five of skies, which is the five of swords. What is hidden from you? What don't you see coming? Pile one. We have the land, which is the world card. Yeah, so something's ending here, but there's a new beginning. Seven of swords. What is hidden from you? What don't you see coming? We have the king of trees, which is the king of wands. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Pisces energy here. Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Aquarius. And then we also have the six of trees, which is the six of wands. Hmm. It almost makes me feel like there's something here that with the moon energy, like I said, this is something that's hidden here. And the seven of swords, both of both the moon and the seven of swords can talk about deception or illusion. It could be something that you're not, it makes me feel like you're something you're not seeing clearly or that your own thoughts, your own self-sabotaging thoughts for some of you are something that are that are making you making it difficult for you to see past or beyond a current situation. Okay, we have the six of wands here, which is about victory. It's about some type of achievement or success here. Maybe for some of you, your own thoughts are kind of deceiving you making you feel like something is not possible, something is not going to happen. And it's kind of like there's this clarity that comes in for you that brings about brings about wish fulfillment here. But also, it's almost like kind of having this feeling of like things are not going to happen. Things are not going to work out. And then all of a sudden, there is a breakthrough here. And it completely changes your perspective. And I feel like this is also happening with that hanged man energy in terms of surrender. In terms of almost like once you let go of the need to try to say to force or control an outcome of something once you let go it's like that's when this blessing comes in and like I said for some of you it is it is about love okay it, it is about new love and for some of you like I said it could also be um a new passion okay some of you might uh receive like I said some type of download here some type of for some of you there could be um, an awakening or some type of realization uh, something for some of you that is your soul's calling could be something that that is clear to you it could be something that's hidden from you right now because there there might be some self-sabotaging thoughts 
that are here that are almost kind of getting in the way of you being able to really tap into your intuition. There could be certain messages that you've already been receiving through your dreams in which your subconscious is trying to bring your attention to it for you to see it clearly. And I definitely feel like with the King of Wands energy here, it's it's a very empowering energy. You know, around her neck here, and again, I have to be careful with the way that I, but I want you to see she's got, hmm, how can I show this the right way? She's got the little Venus symbol, okay, right around her, uh, around her neck, on her necklace here. And this is the energy of feminine power empowerment, love, beauty, success, abundance. Um, so I feel like I want to get a little bit, um, a little bit more information here. Hmm. Okay, let's get something on this Ace of Swords. It's almost like some of you could be receiving some type of message. We have the Two of Swords here. Ace of Swords. There's confusion here or indecision. I feel like this could be inner conflict um, that you're dealing with here. We do have the Five of Cups, some type of, um, I feel like grief here. Um, Five of Cups can also put us in a place where we're feeling discouraged, we're feeling disappointed, we're feeling hopeless about something. Or feeling stuck. Maybe there's something that you're trying to figure out here. Why is the Ace of Swords here? The Maid of Skies. I believe this is the page. The Page of Swords. So yes, there's some type of message here. Some type of communication. Some type of news. I want to look to see what this this lady here has to do with this. So how does this lady uh, play into this reading here, Spirit? What does this lady have to do with this reading? Is this pile one or something outside? A person, another person aside from pile one. Who is this? We have the Page of Cups and the Witch of Trees, which is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Again, I'm getting Fire Sign energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you, this feels like something you could be uh, potentially moving towards here. I'm going to cover this up a little bit. Um, something that you could be moving towards here, taking action with, pursuing. Let's get a little bit more here. What is hidden from pile number one? What don't they see coming? We have a false person. There's a female here. This might be some type of message or news, you know, that could potentially bring about some disappointment here or may have been something that you've been kind of um, feeling disappointed about or kind of grinding on in a sense. We have a false person here and we have the seven of swords.
Interesting. I'm going to say some of you, this could be a parent. Okay. A parent. Um, I don't know. Let's see. What is hidden from you? What don't you see coming? Pile number. We have, wow. A false person and a thief here. Oh, okay. All right. Some of you, this could be a person who could be saying something to you, messaging or communicating something to you that could potentially be trying to make you feel guilty for something, almost like guilt tripping you. It could be some type of unexpected communication, but it makes me feel like this person's motives or their um, their intentions are to try to fool something, like fool you in some regard. But I almost kind of feel like this person, any type of trying to convince you of something or trying to lie to you about something... I feel like your intuition is going to tell you otherwise. We do have the Five of Swords here too. The Five of Swords can sometimes be um, not great communication. It could be somebody that, that is holding resentment towards you or you're holding resentment towards this person. Um, there could be some type of fight or argument or um, conflict here, but it almost looks like somebody's taking something or trying to take something, trying to steal something. Somebody who is acting like they are one way but they are another and I feel like you there is a need for you to to set some strong boundaries here <clears throat> with this person and I feel like your intuition may already be telling you about this person but I feel like you're going to see this person for who they really are like, they've not changed. That's one message that's coming through here. They have not changed. Their demeanor, their behavior, the way they talk, the way they communicate, they've not changed. Okay. So it's almost like kind of like they're, they're telling you something and they're wanting you to kind of like you feel sorry for them or to... Somebody could be coming forward with some type of apology here, but it almost makes me feel like even the apology is not something that's genuine. But I, I don't feel like you're gonna like you're going to um kind of get caught up in this in a way. I feel like you're gonna have more discernment here with really kind of seeing the person or the situation for what it is. Let's see what else. What is hidden from you, pile number one? Occupation. Mm, some of this could be related to work or somebody you work with. Somebody could be stealing some ideas here, okay? Or stealing... There could be jealousy here from, from a person, jealousy... It could even be something that makes you angry or upsets you. I almost feel like someone's taking something, taking your work, stealing your work, stealing something that maybe you've worked really hard on. This person doesn't have what you have, pile number one. And, and I'm not trying to say that in a way that's like bad, but like, or negative about the other person. But for some of you, it almost feels like, um, like stealing identity in a sense or trying to steal ideas or trying to em emulate your energy or your story or your something about you copying your work or so some of you, this might even be like a, a work situation that is brought to light here. What is hidden from you? What don't you see coming? Twenty-eight 
toil and labor. Yeah, this makes me feel like it's something that you've worked really hard on. You've invested a lot of time and energy here. Who is this false person? Let's see. Who is this false person? The Four of Pentacles. This makes me feel like it's a person who doesn't have a whole lot. A person who doesn't have a whole lot. A person who... Why do I feel like it's kind of like this person is trying to like ride on your... What is that expression? Like trying to ride on your shirt tails. Like somebody who's trying to feed off of your success. Somebody who's trying to feed off of your abundance. And what you offer, what you bring to the table here. And this, of course, this message is coming through here right now. This may have nothing to do with the original messages that were here, okay? Just keep in mind this is a general reading. Um, what is this false person here? We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. So, oh, some of you, this could be um, a person that you have a relationship with. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be love. Um, the Hierophant can also be a person who is a teacher or... A person who's very wise. So it might even be a person who's older than you. Or it could potentially be a Taurus. Um, yeah, I'm getting earth energy here. Taurus with that four of pent. I'm sorry, with uh, the Hierophant energy. For some of you, it might even be a Capricorn. For some of you, this has to do with money. What is this false person here? <clears throat> some of you this person might be trying to act like they need money or they need financial help here and we have the queen of wands again okay what is this thief here Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What is the thief here? Or who? What is the thief? What is the thief? The Queen of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Some of you, this could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is manipulative, pile uh, one. This person is manipulative. It's almost like this person is kind of like twisting words here. Almost like communicating to you mistruths about something. This feels like this person is trying to take something from you. Some of you, this may even be a um, Scorpio. Okay. Interesting. What is this thief here? Ideas, plans, dreams. 
vision. Some of you might already be having visions or mm, I don't know, maybe even like nightmares. Why is the thief here? And this makes me feel again. It's kind of like what Spirit's saying here is almost like what you've been feeling intuitively potentially about this person. It's like it's all coming to light. It's all coming to light. It's all true. Like, what is the thief here? It could either be like this person's telling on themselves, or we have the Queen of El Fame. This is the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. This is about money. Some of you, I'm getting a mom, okay? Like a, a mother, a mother figure, another female. And I feel like this female is manipulative. And this could very well be something that causes a lot, an argument here. Because I, I almost kind of feel like there's a need for you to be, to use discernment here with this person. And I'm feeling like Spirit's saying, you're going to, you're going to make it through this. This, this situation is going to come up here, but it's kind of like, you're going to see right through this person. Some of you, I feel like this person has stolen something, taken something an idea, trying to make money on something or getting money from you in some sense. Or let's see what the Seven of Swords energy is here. Some of you, this is a Taurus or a Libra. Two of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands. And the Witch of Waters, which is the... What is that? The Knight. The Knight of Cups. Okay, I'm getting another message with this. And I feel like, like I said, there's a general reading. So there's going to be a lot of stuff that comes through here. Um, What I feel some of you are, what's hidden from you is a person's romantic feelings. This person has been holding back here. They could be avoidant and, and kind of going back and forth about whether or not to come forward. Okay. And for those of you where that is the romantic situation here, um, I feel like this person is going to um, come forward and bring you some type of offer here. So there is an offer for, this could be asking you out on a date. This could be um, a person who is bringing forward some type of proposal here. And I do feel like this person has been very anxious about offering something to you. It could be something that you have to really make a choice here. Um, so take some time to weigh your options and think about whether or not something that you truly want. Okay. Of course, this may also go into this situation here too. Um, because, you know, the Knight of Cups doesn't always just have to be romantic. It can be some type of other offer here. Now, I would watch out if there is, you know, go by what, 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 with what you feel. But if there is somebody who's coming forward with some type of offer here, I feel like there's a need for you, like I said, to use discernment. Um, because for some of you, there could be some type of proposal that this person has, but it could also be something that creates a lot of extra stress or even responsibilities for you. For some of you, it could be financial and it may not be such a good idea for you to kind of take this on. Okay. Um, that's another message that's coming through here. Okay. Let's see a little bit more. Other messages, spirit, for pile number one. What is hidden from pile one? What don't they see coming? I would also use discernment too, especially for those of you where there is going to be new love coming in. Um, make sure that you are taking your time. You're keeping yourself grounded not getting ahead of yourself, not putting all of your eggs in one basket to make sure that you know clearly what the person's intentions are before you just kind of jump into something. Okay. 
So pile number one, what is hidden from you? What don't you see coming? What is hidden from pile one? We have initiation here. Initiation with strings. With strings and scavenger. And I'm seeing hunger at the bottom. So it's almost like someone is almost like there's something strings attached to here. This could be something where somebody is wanting, I feel like wanting something from you, but there's strings attached here. And it may be that you try to go after something, like you're wanting something, desiring something, but there's, Almost like I feel like some type of manipulation here. Um, let's see. What is hidden from pile number one? What don't they see coming? For some of you, there could be some type of greed behind something. Okay, so we have the diamond here. It says you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Okay, and we also have the harp. And it says great happiness. And then we have a wish is granted. Okay, so I was seeing that for some of you earlier. Okay, some type of wish fulfillment here for you. That's unrelated to this other business that's coming through here so let's keep going what is hidden from pile number one what don't pile number what don't they see coming pile number one what don't they see coming what is hidden we have discord among friends or family that's what this kind of feels like Discord among friends or family. And then we have temporary problems. And then a recognition, a reward for merit. Like I said, some of you are going to be receiving something good here. But again, I feel like this could be an unrelated message to this other stuff that's coming through here. Okay. Um... What is hidden from pile number one? What don't they see coming? We have some, we have July. Okay, that could be significant. The month of July. Okay. Um, I want to get a little bit more on these strings here. What does the strings have to do with? It almost feels like somebody who's trying to get you involved in something, but there's strings attached here. What are the strings? The three of wands, which is something that's happening here, something that is coming towards you in the near future here. Or something that could potentially affect you in the near future. What are the strings here? We have temperance. And the king of swords. This could be surrounding some type of communication here. Okay, what I'm feeling for this too. Some of you, like I said, there could be some type of communication that's coming in here. What this person has to say, I feel like the way this spirit is kind of wanting you to handle this person and this situation is to not let whatever this person says be something that kind of completely throws you off and just kind of, it's almost like you're needing to just kind of keep your calm, keep your composure and, and keep kind of like this energy about you where you are 
stay, stay in your power. Okay? Stay in your power here. Um, what is this discord among friends and family here? The fool. This is about something new here. Some type of opportunity potentially for some someone's new beginning. It could be yours. It could be theirs. We have the strength card. What is the discord here? And also the two of wands. It's going to be, a, a, again, a choice here. A need for you to make some kind of a choice. Because it almost kind of feels like maybe this is going to be something that you have to really take some time to consider. Almost like somebody who wants to who wants you uh, to take something on here. Or to help them with it, assist them with it. Hmm. What is the energy surrounding this diamond, spirit? This diamond. What is the energy surrounding this diamond? The Eight of Swords. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift here. What is this diamond? The Ace of Wands. This is some type of idea here, but it almost makes me feel like there's a little bit of resistant energy that's surrounding it. We have the chariot. The chariot. Hmm. Some of you, I feel like this, this gift here that's coming in for some of you could be something that requires you to relocate. You know, like I said, some of this might be surrounding a job or a career. Um... It could be something that, that, that kind of asks you to make a choice here about relocating. Um, it could be something that kind of sparks your interest here. And there's a need for you to really work towards releasing any types of fears or insecurities. Um, there's a need for you to really kind of, again, stay this empowered energy here. Like I said, for some of you earlier, there could be some type of clarity that you receive surrounding your purpose. Um moving forward with a certain idea or passion or something and somebody could be giving something to you or offering something to you um it could also involve travel here okay some of you i do feel like you do have love coming in here okay i'm seeing a commitment or a relationship um coming in for you and that is a wish granted um that is here okay Let's get some last messages here. I feel like this reading was all over the place, but there's so many different messages coming in here. What is hidden from you? Pile number one. What you don't see coming. We have number 23. The mice here. Again, I almost feel like there's there's people here, uh, family members, friends, something that's trying to take away. Some of you could be receiving some type of mess or news about this. This could involve family. Um, it may even be inheritance. Okay, if you've if you've been. In a situation where a family member, a mother, okay, is specifically what I'm getting here, a mother, 
who was trying to take away a house, a home, inheritance, almost like eating away at resources or trying to take away from something that you've built, that you've worked hard for, um, or that you've earned something that that's, that's owed to you. I feel like this situation, like I said, that the truth is going to be brought to light. Okay. This person's deception is going to be something that is brought forth for everyone to see. Um, and I feel like it's, things are kind of working out in your favor here. Okay. For some of you, I feel like this has to do with your family legacy. Um, there could, there could be some type of, um, I feel like something powerful coming through for you here in that this is going to be something potentially, hmm, something that's bringing in security for you here, okay? Something that's going to be bringing in security for you. Some of you, this may have to do with a... Uh, an opportunity for school or an opportunity for uh, more growth or education in terms of, of leveling up in terms of your career. Okay, some of you, this might have to do with legal stuff um, is kind of what I'm seeing here. Legal situations that are kind of going on. You could be receiving some type of notice or news in that way as well. Um, but again, Spirit's like saying to you here um, to really kind of keep this energy very grounded balance you are going to be able to move um through this energy okay um yeah i'm i'm feeling for some of you there could be some type of loss that's experienced here some type of loss this is where some of you, I feel like you're, you're needing to really, um, be very discerning here. Okay. With, with, with whatever this situation is. Cause again, with this, my, the little mice that are here, this is talking about being something being, um, possessions, resources being kind of taken away here. Um, and it could be affecting your security. Okay. It could be literally be somebody who's trying to take something, steal something, um, little bits at a time, right? The whole scavenging energy here. Um, it could be somebody who is literally like a scavenger that's trying to get whatever they can get from you. Um, maybe it's for a house or for a home or for maybe even helping them with, getting stable but again this is where you're going to have to think if this is the right decision for you because it's is it going to put extra stress on you is it going to create more responsibilities for you um but yeah this kind of feels like friends or family or people that are trying to eat away at resources here okay it may even be like an argument between family members and friends over an estate or over uh legal stuff things of that nature. Okay. All right. That was a lot <laughs> that I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number one. Um, I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile two. So those of you that resonate with card number 39 with these dice on it and the smoky citrine, this is going to be a reading today. So we're finding out what is hidden from you, what you don't see coming. Okay. So just keep in mind, this is a general reading. There are going to be a lot of messages that come through. Okay. So not everything is going to be for you. So let's see. Pile number two. What is hidden from you? What you don't see coming. The dice can talk about some type of risk. Um leap of faith, an opportunity, um, a gamble. Let's see what is hidden from pile number two. 
what is hidden from pile number two, what they don't see coming. What don't they, pile number two, see coming? We've got the fool. Okay, so there's the leap right there. Some type of leap of faith. <clears throat> what is hidden from pile number two? We have the ace of pentacles. Okay, so for some of this might be a job opportunity that's coming towards you. Um, it could be an extra source of income. Something you weren't expecting, okay? This could be money you weren't expecting here. We have the Ace of Wands and also the Three of Pentacles. Yes, so some of you I'm seeing this is a job, okay? This could be an opportunity here for you. Something that you... Um, something that has a lot of potential here. Um, some of you this might even be... A new friend, okay? A new friend here coming in for you. Let's see what else. What is hidden from you? What don't you see coming? We've got the elf stroke. This is the tower. This is unexpected. Some of you, this, this leap of faith here it might be something that creates a little bit of upheaval in your life, but because it could be bringing in some big change here, especially with a new job or something uh, new that's being offered to you here. Um, you could be receiving some type of news or message or communication. There's three aces here. Okay, the aces are about new beginnings. What is hidden from you? What don't you see coming? Pile two. We have the high priestess. It's going to be something you're really going to have to trust your intuition with because I feel like this offer or this opportunity is coming in. It is going to require you to take the risk. Okay. It could be a new job offer, like I said, or a... Uh, Hmm. We have the Empress. The Nine of Cups. Well, it is bringing in wish fulfillment here. Something that you've been wishing for. Maybe for some of you, if you've been really kind of saying, I really want a job that pays more money. Um, I feel like it is going to bring in drastic change for you. Some of you might be feeling a little bit unsure, uncertain about this. But I feel like spirit with the tower energy here is, the tower is something that is very unexpected. And sometimes that unexpected change could be something that feels a little bit scary and we don't feel the most confident about it. But I feel like Spirit saying here that your intuition may have already been telling you like this, this change was coming. You may have already been feeling something big coming. I'm seeing the Six of Wands underneath, I'm sorry, the Six of Swords underneath the deck. The Six of Swords is a card of moving on. So some of you could be leaving something, moving on from something, and there is um, this beautiful opportunity that's coming towards you, okay? Like I said, some of you, it could be a friend, a new friend that's coming in. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we've got Pisces energy here, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, and Libra, and Aquarius. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's start pulling some other cards here. Um, let's go into these. What is hidden from pile number one? There's an unexpected change here, an unexpected movement. Uh, 
Maybe for some of you this could be a house, a home, revolving a house or home. Maybe even a loan for some of you. Some money you weren't expecting. What is hidden from you? What do, don't you see coming? It is going to be something that makes you really happy here with the Nine of Cups. It is a wish being fulfilled here. We have despair. Look at that back there. We have a sign that says not hiring. So some of you, maybe if you've been like really feeling really down about not finding a job, this job is coming in for you. Look at that occupation and the coffin here. So the coffin is about endings. Okay. Endings, new beginnings, some type of change. Um, I'm seeing journey at the bottom with great fortune. So yeah, things are changing for you. Um, pile number two, if you've been kind of worried about money or, you know, trying to look for a job, there is going to be an opportunity that's coming in for you here. Great fortune, a windfall of money. Um, some of you, I feel like, uh, this might even be a situation where, which is completely unrelated, but some of you might be having a windfall of money that's coming in that might allow you to take a break, to travel, to just kind of take some time for just you, okay? Others of you where this new job could be coming in here, where maybe you've been feeling really down, really low about things just kind of not working out for you. With the journey card here, I feel like for some of you, this might be an unexpected move, okay? And it could be because this new job or this new offer, this new opportunity that's coming in here for you is going to bring in a lot of abundance. And yes, you might feel like, oh my goodness, I'm, am I really going to do this? Am I really going to move? Am I really going to make this big change? But I feel like rest assured here, pile number two, that it is going to be a good thing for you. Okay, we have the Empress here. Nine of Cups is right next to that. The Empress is a very beautiful, very abundant um, energy here. So I feel like this risk, this gamble that you're going to be taking is going to be worth it. It's going to pay off here. Okay, but there is a change here. Unexpected. So that could look like, let's just say that you unexpectedly like lose your job, right? And you're just like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? How am I going to figure this out? But in comes that Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups energy here, which is your wishes fulfilled. This could also look like you finally landing your dream job, okay? Or or getting that job that's going to really change in terms of your abundance, where you feel more comfortable. You feel like, I can do things now. I can travel. I can, you know, do pursue what it is that you really want here. But yeah, the Six of Swords is about moving on. So you'll be moving on from something. Maybe that means leaving a job. Um, leaving the place that you live right now to journey to someplace new. We do have clearly an ending here, but it's a beautiful new beginning for you. Okay, is, is what I'm seeing here. All right, let's see what else. What is hidden from you, pile number two? What don't you see coming? Yeah, this could be an end to a job here for some of you, but there's something beautiful that's coming up from it, okay? Or you could be deciding to end something, leave something. What is hidden from pile number two? What don't they see coming for pile two? Of mercy elusive we have memory what is hidden from file two we have the tribe and an obulette okay um, some of you, I feel like there's a situation that you might be in right now and you're not able to kind of see your way out of it. Like, how is this going to work out? How is this going to happen? Um, 
And I feel like there is relief that's coming through for you here in that case, okay? Some of you, I literally see new friends coming in. Your soul family, your soul tribe um, coming in here. What else? Hmm. I might want to get a little bit more clarification on some of these energies down here, but let's pull these tea leaves first. What is hidden from pile number two? What don't they see coming? Oops. What is hidden? So we have happiness here. Happiness. We have great and good fortune. Yeah, so some of you are getting a wish, a wish fulfillment here, some abundance coming in here. And I'm also seeing success assured with good plans and hard work. We also have getting together with friends. Um, the goldfish says an increase in material wealth and spiritual growth so that that's beautiful energy um the flag says do not be tempted to lower your standards and we also have the rat here someone working against you behind your back i'm going to see a little bit more this makes me feel like this could potentially tie into this elusive energy don't lower your standards okay let's let's get some tarot here what is this rat here? <laughs> who is this rat? Someone who's working against pile number two? The witch of trees. This is the, uh, the knight of wands. I think I called it the, the queen of wands in pile number one. I might have to fix that, but this is the knight of wands here. This could potentially be a fire sign. Hmm. What is this elusive? The rat here. Who is this person working behind Pao back? The king of swords. This could be an air sign. Air sign energy is also coming through here. King of Swords. Aries, Leo. I'm sorry. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, we also have the Two of Wands. What's this spirit telling you here? Don't lower your standards. What does this have to do with? Do not be tempted. Some of you with this energy here, there could be a specific... Um, I want to say romantic partner here. Why is spirit saying don't lower your standards? What is this about? The wheel of fortune. And the maid of trees. This is the page of wands. And the justice card. Hmm. Okay, some of you, there could be a potential romantic interest that's coming towards you, but I almost kind of feel this person's, um, this person's intentions, okay? This, to me, more or less, is that this person may not necessarily be wanting a serious commitment. They may be looking to play games, okay? So if you know what it is that you really want, this could this might even be somebody that's returning from the past here. They want wanting you to forgive them, um, trying to come back into your life. Maybe somebody that you're not in contact with. This person could be trying to come forward again, but this person's not coming back with the good energy. This person's coming back with a very indecisive energy. So if this is truly not something that you're wanting, don't get involved in it. Okay, because we have the justice card here, um, which is a need for you to make good choices. 
okay? The best, the best possible decision you can make for yourself to serve your highest good. Otherwise, for some of you, if you go back to the situation, um, it could be that you keep yourself stuck in a cycle with this person, okay? Because it's fun, it's exciting, it's kind of like this person's kind of like making you feel like it's going to go somewhere. It's not, Okay? So there could be a need for you to just kind of walk away from that situation. I'm seeing the five of wands at the bottom of the deck and the seven of swords. So this might even be five of cups. This might even be something that kind of ends up in, you know, you guys still having differences. This person still being avoidant here. I feel like this is a past situation. It could continue to be something that brings about a loss of hope or disappointment for you. Okay, that's a completely unrelated message there, but that is definitely coming through. And that, again, would be a gamble here, right? Taking the risk here. Is it worth it to you to go back into this situation? That's where Spirit's saying, don't be tempted to lower your standards. Okay. All right. What else do we want to do? Um, let's pull some more of these. What is hidden from pile number two? What don't they see coming? We have number four. Is that a little house there? And then we have a little dog. How sweet. There's initials there on it. It says CM. Maybe for some of you that is symbolic. CM. Some of you could have a water sign. Okay. Coming towards you. Water sign. Receiving type some type of message from a water sign here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Some of you might also be receiving some type of um, message or communication or news from a family member, a friend. Some of you, it could be a romantic a partner here okay now some of you were like i was saying this could be a past person if this is a past situation that you were dealing with in the past and this person was kind of non-committal disappeared ghosted abandoned things like that again this is where you're going to need discernment that's where spirit's saying don't lower your standards the same thing goes for friends if there's friends here that are not really supportive loving nurturing and you do receive a message from a friend here, you know, you have to really kind of decide here, do I want to go back into this situation, especially if it's a friend who's trying to make amends with you and they still haven't changed. Use your discernment, your gut feeling, whatever you feel is best for you um, within that situation. But yes, I'm seeing communication coming in here potentially from a loved one, a friend. Some of you, it's going to be a, a, a romantic interest. Okay, but again, you've got you've got the dice here which is about gambling. It's about taking a chance. And sometimes that gamble could be something that leads to positive outcomes. Sometimes it could lead to negative. So this is where you're going to really need discernment at this time. Okay. And remember what Spirit's saying, don't lower your standards. Okay. Especially if it's a group of friends or a love interest that does not have your best interest in mind. This is also a need for you to really be strong, empowered. Okay. And maybe moving on from that person or that situation. Okay, just because something comes back up from our past doesn't mean we need to revisit with it. Okay, sometimes it's just to test us to say, okay, are we done with this? Are we over it? Can we walk away from it? You know, all right. So that is all that I have for you, pile number two. I do hope this is helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So those of you that resonated with this card here, 28, the man and the Mukite Jasper, this is going to be your reading. I'm going to cover him up. I don't know with YouTube if that goes for men too. He is shirtless, but <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so let's see what is hidden from you. What don't you see coming? Maybe for some of you, this has to do with a masculine energy. Okay.
what is hidden from you and it could also be you okay could also be you what is hidden from you pile number three what don't you see coming what is hidden from you what don't you see coming We've got the five of stones. I'm going to have to cover this one a little bit. Might be a little bit too much for YouTube. Five of stones. That is the five of pentacles. What is hidden from you? What don't you see coming? We have the Maid of Trees. That is the Page of Wands. Some of you might be receiving some type of communication from somebody that abandoned you, ghosted you. Um, shut you out, isolated themselves from you. We have the Witch of Stones. I believe that is the Knight of Pentacles. Some of this might be an earth sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What is hidden from pile number three? We have the Empress, Taurus, Libra. We also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the King of Wands. Some of you, this is a fire sign. We have Death, Scorpio energy. What is hidden from you? What don't you see coming? <clears throat> the Fool. Some of there's going to be an end to, I feel like, for some of you, a no contact situation. This person trying to pursue you, okay? Aquarius is also here. Scorpio. Pisces. Yeah, this feels like somebody who's been kind of um, out of your life, like somebody who has not been present or somebody that you haven't heard from. Okay, uh, this person coming back around here. I know some of you are not wanting to hear that, <laughs> but it's what's here. Okay. Sagittarius energy in the world. Hmm. All right. There's a lot of a lot of um, people here too. The King of Wands, the Empress, the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. I feel like I do want to clarify um, that Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Okay. I'm feeling for some of you, this is going to be someone who has been th thinking about you a lot. Somebody that has been having maybe even dreams about you. Um, I do feel like this is somebody that does have feelings for you. Okay. So like I said, some of you, this could be a love interest that you've stopped talking to. 
Okay, somebody who may have been feeling a little bit confused or unsure about your connection. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Yeah, this person's going to be trying to come back in to renew your connection. This could be reconciliation for some of you. Okay. So I'm, I'm kind of seeing an end to this, maybe a tough cycle that you've gone through, especially if you've been, you know, having difficulties with the person or the person hasn't been talking to you. Um, I feel like this person isn't feeling intuitively guided back towards you. Okay. Wanting to start fresh, wanting to start new. Okay. This person might also be someone who's wanting to commit here, but I also feel like in that commitment, it's, it's kind of a little slow moving. This person's wanting to take things slow. So they could be saying, okay, let's reconcile, but let's take it slow and just kind of see how things go. Okay. That's what I'm getting here. A person who is not over you. Okay. All right. Let's see. What is this fool? This person could be taking some kind of leap of faith. Yeah, to reconcile is definitely coming through here. Wanting to meet up with you, wanting to, you know, go out, go out. Okay. Take you out. This person's communication is going to be coming in very uh, sudden. It might shock you. It might be something that is, or like this person has had like a complete change of heart of wanting to invest into this connection. Okay. Wanting to, to see where it goes, put in more effort is definitely something that I'm seeing here. So this is a very specifically, I feel like about romantic situation. So if you don't really have anything going on romantic or something like that, then I would say maybe this is not your pile. Um, but this looks like a, a person who's coming back in here to try to reconcile with you, trying to put in more effort, um, trying to feel more optimistic about things uh, between the two of you, okay? Some of you could be a Scorpio. I'm also getting Aries energy here, Leo. What is hidden from pile number three? What don't they see coming? Some type of gift. We have adjudication here. Some of you could have some legal stuff going on here. Maybe awarded something through some type of adjudication. We do have imprisonment here. Um, I don't know. Maybe some of you have somebody that is in prison. Um... Or maybe somebody who's been holding back with their decision. Okay, that could also be the case here. And coming forward, could might even be somebody who's traveling to come to see you, making plans, um, giving you something, gifting you something unexpectedly. Maybe some type of offer or proposal here. I'm also seeing, let's move these down a little bit. We have sudden wealth. Okay. Some of you might even be receiving some unexpected income or unexpected money here, which is always a good thing. <laughs> um, always a good thing. Um, we also have the coffin here too. So this could also be about some type of change or endings. We do have the death card here. So something changing, putting something to rest, being able to resolve. Again, look at that great fortune here. Okay. Some of you, I feel like you're going to be awarded something some type of money. This may even be something that's coming through with a person's passing, like an inheritance here. Okay. Maybe something that has been kept from you. I do feel like it's on its way to you here with the great fortune. Um, yeah, we've got a message here. So somebody could be receiving some type of communication, maybe even from somebody who's in jail. I don't know. Um, we have main female here, which could be you. It could be um, involving of another female. Okay, we have a marriage here. Yeah, some of you, I feel like these messages. We have courthouse at the bottom with a thief. So this could be somebody who's been trying to take money from you. 
take what was yours. Okay. Um, I To me, the way that this looks like, it looks like it's working out in your favor. Okay, you're going to be receiving some type of communication here. Good news. Something that's being awarded to you. Maybe somebody tried to steal something or take something. Um... For others of you, like I said, there could be a, a person who's trying to come back in and come in with some type of a commitment. They could even be proposing something more serious here. I'm seeing main mail here on the distant horizon. So this looks like this person is coming towards you. We've got this masculine energy here um, <clears throat> coming in. For some of you, I feel like this person is going to be coming in within the next three to six. This could be days, weeks, months. Okay. Let's see. What is hidden from pile number three? What don't they see coming? Yeah. Lots of message about a message. Okay, messenger here. We have initiation, illumination, the sacrifice. Maybe somebody's going to have to make some type of a sacrifice here. And we also have eccentric here. I, I feel like this person is wanting your attention here. Okay, somebody's wanting your attention here, trying to get your attention. Um, they may also be communicating about something that they could be giving up. Okay, they, this person might even be coming forward to tell you that they've had some type of revelation about your connection. Okay, let's see what else. What is hidden from pile number three? We have July. Those of you that are in uh, the U.S., okay, this looks like this could potentially be something that's happening in July because I'm seeing the firecracker here with excitement, and then we also have July, which is the 4th of July. Okay, so maybe for some of you that could be something that is significant here. Okay, we also have the sun, and we definitely have plenty of sunshine in July. But it says happiness and well-being we have pleasure with a close friend. We have protection from a powerful friend. So this could be somebody coming in to help you with something, assist you with something here. We also have someone will try to make you do something against your will. We have angel here, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So spirit is wanting you to know whoever this is that's trying to do anything to you, know that you're being protected through all of this, okay? We have the horseshoe here with good luck. And we also have the fox, and it says shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So maybe for some of you, there's going to be a need for you to use your resources here or connect with um, good people, okay? People that might help you in some regard here. I do want to look at this club a little bit more. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. It could be somebody's asking a favor from you. What is this club here? What does this have to do with? We've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And the Three of Swords. We have Temperance and the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Some of this could have to do with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Sagittarius here. This feels like an energy of trying to control here. Somebody trying to control something. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Seven of Wands. Spirit is saying you need to set some boundaries with this person. Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Some of this could be an air sign. 
Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles is saying like if this if somebody's trying to ask you to do something for them, um I feel like there's a need for you to be very discerning here, especially with the Queen of Swords. There's a need for boundaries here. Um and the Seven of Pentacles energy here is about a need for you to evaluate and reassess whether or not that whatever this is that this person is asking you to do is the right thing here. Does it serve your highest good? Okay. Or is it something that is creating uh, far more uh, stress here for you? Okay. All right. Let's see what else <clears throat> for you, pile number three. What is hidden? from you what is hidden we've got number 33 looks like a little bird cage we've got 38 we've got a little house here and also the storks okay some of you, I'm feeling that you could have an opportunity to move here, some type of message or news surrounding a job change or even a home. Um, some of you that have been kind of worried about making this change, making this move, um, it could be something where spirit is kind of bringing in an opportunity for you to do that. Some of you, it is going to be providing the financial means um, for something like that to happen. Remember that July is significant here. It is bringing in an exciting energy, so it can be an exciting or welcome change here. Um, the Storks can also talk about the birth of something new, a baby potentially, so it could even be a new baby, maybe in the family or, you know, maybe even a, a pregnancy here. Okay, for some of you, um, might be symbolic here as well, but this is Spirit kind of providing some type of a key here, the bridge to... I'm also looking at the house as some type of stability or security here. So maybe hearing news about that, maybe something that's coming in for you too, especially if you feel like there hasn't been many opportunities for this. I feel like that opportunity is coming in. Okay. All right. So that is all that I have for you. Pile number three. I do hope this is helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading.